Today I will be demonstrating how to set up an account through the TCEQ STEERS system. STEERS stands for the State of Texas Environmental Electronic Reporting System and it is an electronic document receiving system for collecting reports and permit applications for environmental programs. STEERS can be accessed through the TCEQ homepage under Online Services. The left-hand side of the STEERS homepage displays the different permits and reports that can be submitted through STEERS. To set up the STEERS account, the applicant will need to know what program areas to add. Click on the Create New Account link on the right-hand side of the page to continue. The applicant will be given some information in regards to the account setup. When the account is created, a verification link will be sent to the email address provided. This link will be used to create the account password. After the new account has been set up, the account status will be in probationary status until the user signs the STEERS Participation Agreement, or SPA. The SPA will need to be signed within a certain time frame, otherwise the account will be locked or archived. Also, another item to note is that a STEERS account is owned by an individual and not by a company. Click on Create New Account to continue. On the Applicant Information page, the applicant will fill out all necessary information. The fields with the red asterisks are required. After filling this out, the applicant will hit the Next button. Please verify that all information is correct. The applicant can go back to change the data, continue, or exit the application. After review, the applicant will hit the Next button to continue. An email with the new account number and the verification link is sent to the provided email. The new account number, or ER number, is also displayed at the top of the page. The applicant will choose five questions and answers for security purposes. Please record the answers if necessary, because the system will generate one random question from this list every time the applicant logs in. After inputting answers to the security questions, click on Save. The applicant will need to add at least one program area to the account. The applicant can always add or modify additional program areas after the account is set up. In this example, the Air News Source Review Program area will be added. Select the access type that best fits the applicant's need. For example, Air NSR has four access roles to select from Read Only, Edit, Preparer, and Sign and Submit. Under authorization, the applicant will select which statements are the most appropriate for access. The applicant will click Add Access to continue. The program status has been updated. However, the account is still in probationary status. The applicant will now need to sign the STEERS Participation Agreement. At the top of the page, there are two links for SPA. The eSign SPA can be used if the applicant has a valid Texas driver's license. If the applicant does not have a valid Texas driver's license or is out of state, then the paper SPA can be mailed in. For this account setup, we will use eSign SPA. On the eSign page, the applicant will verify the account information is correct. The applicant will then read the conditions of using the STEERS account on the rest of the page. At the bottom of the eSign page, the applicant will sign electronically using personal information. The applicant will check both boxes and click on eSign SPA. After signing the SPA, the applicant can check their email to find the account number and the verification link that was sent when the account was created. This link will be used to set up the applicant's password. After clicking on this link, follow the instructions on the page to set up the account password. After creating the password, the applicant can return to the home page and log into STEERS to verify the password is working. Additional help pages are located on the STEERS main page under See Details of What You Can Do. The Help page has links for each program area providing additional information on how to submit a permit or report. For example, viewing the AIR NSR ePermits help will give step-by-step -step instructions on how to submit an ePermit there will be another presentation available that demonstrates step-by-step -step instructions on how to submit an e-permit for air news source review. If the applicant would like to contact the TCEQ for assistance, 
there is a link at the top right corner that has contact information. If additional help is needed with regard to account setup, the user can either send an email or contact the STEERS staff at the listed phone number. If additional help is needed for the program area, find the program area on this page and the corresponding phone number. For example, Air NSR e-permit questions can be directed to the Air Permits Division mainline. We hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching this presentation.